Hey folks, Dirty here for Premier Basics, and recently I was watching the Netflix series Making Fun. It's a show where kids can pitch ideas and then some grumpy guys who actually hate kids have to build their idea. I don't really like this show, I didn't watch more than the first 10 minutes, but I did see a pretty cool effect, and so I thought, can I do this in Premiere? Of course, this is Premiere Basics. You're gonna need a shot of yourself where you pretend to fall a little bit. Then you walk forward and pretend like you're holding yourself, and then you drop yourself. Now important is that you let yourself go at the right point where you land. It's best to have a friend watch the camera monitor and do it a couple of times to get it right. And now let's fire up Adobe Premiere Pro. Start with a clip of you falling and then walking out of the frame. And I'm gonna duplicate that clip to have it twice, already creating one loop. And you can do this by holding down the Alt key while dragging that clip. Next up, duplicate the first clip again, but this time a track higher. Now with your play hat in the beginning, right click on that clip and choose add frame hold. This will freeze the clip. Now let's go over to the effects controls, locate opacity and from there take the pen tool. You want to draw a mask around yourself and yes, this has to be precise. So take your time doing this. When done, we're going to center the cutout and we can do that by enabling the rulers and the safe margins. And if you can't find these buttons right here, then just click on the plus icon from which you can drag and drop any buttons into your layouts. We can now drag out a horizontal and vertical guideline from the rulers and match them with the indicators from the safe margins to get a perfect cross in the middle. Now I'm going to use that cross to reposition position my masked out clip to. Think about where you are going to hold yourself. For me, that'll be my chest. So I'm going to place my chest in the middle of the cross. We can now drag the guidelines back out of the frame. And we can now go ahead, right click on that layer and choose nest to group it. This is needed because we're going to drag the transform effect to it and masks and transform effects just don't really work well together. But you know what does work very well together? Well, me and sponsor Skillshare. As you know, I'm a teacher myself at Skillshare, but I also constantly take new classes myself to learn a new skill or to just discover something new. It's creative brain food for me. Now, one of the recent classes I've watched is Find Your Style, Five Exercises to Unlock Your Creative Identity. It's from Andy J. Pizza. Now, he talks about how to find your own creative style and you can implement this into any kind of medium, whether that is illustration, filmmaking, editing, it doesn't matter. And that's what I really like about it. Now, he shares five exercises that help you better understand your goal in your creative journey. It's very hands-on, making it super interactive and fun to follow. Definitely a class that I can recommend to any creative. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community. New classes are being added every day, so there's always something new to discover. Are you thinking about a new skill you'd like to learn? Well, within the thousands of inspiring classes, you can probably find a great class for it. You can browse through different categories, such as Adobe Premiere, Cinema photography or perhaps check out the most popular classes. Hey, who's that? That's me. The website is ad free so you can focus on your class and since short Skillshare has also added subtitles in various languages making your learning experience even better. And very thankful to Skillshare for that as I know how many of you guys appreciate that. So start exploring now. The first 1000 people to use the link or my code Premier Basics will get a one month of free trial of Skillshare. Check out the description down below for more information. All right, back to Premiere. We're going to trim the nested sequence so that it starts at just the moment where you should see yourself. Do the same on the end of the nested sequence. And where you think that you'll drop, you want to trim it as well. We're gonna also add a cut in the bottom clip at that point, move it up and drag the next clip underneath. And this is because the next clip starts when you start walking and that way it matches when you drop yourself. And since my arm and body is still visible in the previous shot, we had to put that on top for us to deal with later. And now comes the long animation. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this effect requires some work. Starting on the end, I'm going to already offset the position with the transform effect to match up with myself falling. To make it yourself easy, you might want to decrease the opacity to 50% for a moment. Once in place, set the keyframes for the position, rotation and scale. Then go back one frame, adjust the position, the scale and the rotation. Then go back another frame, do the same. Go back another frame and do the same. And that story continues for a while until you have followed the entire movement. So here's a bonus trick. The faster you make your dropping movement, 
the less keyframes that you have to place. <laughs> now make sure to set a custom shutter angle of 180 degree to introduce natural motion blur, and that already gives you the animation. You probably think we're almost done, but you're wrong. We're still dealing with that second clip, which has my hand in the frame. You want to draw a mask around your hand in the beginning and animate it so that it follows you. When you're not covering yourself, that mask doesn't have to be precise. Good, we're almost there. My thumb should come in front of small me. Now to fix that, add a cut in your bottom clip at the point where the nested sequence starts. Make a duplication of that by holding down the Alt key and dragging the clip. And this time draw a mask around your thumb and animate it frame by frame to follow the movement. I know, it. I make it seem super easy, but yeah, it's a little work. But that hard work is going to be paid off right now as the final effect is complete. If you thought this was cool, make sure to hit that like button. The YouTube algorithm really likes that, and so do I. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Skillshare, for the support. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left for more. And over there is the subscribe button if you want to see this beautiful face right here every single Wednesday. All right, enjoy yourselves.